as far back as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a movie critic. Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Studios here, and welcome back to another movie review. And today, I am going to be doing a review on Goodfellas. So Goodfellas came out in the year 1990 and is directed by Martin Scorsese, and it stars Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Lorraine Bracco, um, Paul Sorvino, Frank Siervo, uh, etc. And so basically, um, the plot for this movie, it tells a story, uh, the true story of Henry Hill, uh, who is a uh, small-time gangster. Uh, he, uh, um, he is, he, um, joins, uh, um, he joins a, a small group of gangsters, uh, with, uh, Jimmy Conway and Tommy DeVito, who are, um, full-time gangsters, uh, participating in a robbery, uh, Henry Hill, uh, participating, uh, participating in um in this uh, robbery and so um once he uh, he joins them uh henry hills uh henry hill uh, who was once uh, on the top of his game uh, has his uh, life uh, go downhill as uh, as time goes on he continues to uh to, to be a part of uh, to be a part of uh the gangster and and uh, suddenly be be become a become a full-time gangster where um where you know uh, he actually uh, gets arrested at some point and uh, he's uh, become a drug addict and, and he has a uh, troubled life with his a, a troubled relationship with his uh, wife uh, Karen and uh, and yeah um, and now um, uh, the trio must not uh, do anything that they can to uh, stay alive and, and just uh, pretty much survive so yeah so Goodfellas uh, is a movie uh, that is um, arg that is uh, most uh, um, definitely the, the most beloved uh, Martin Scorsese movie as everyone and I mean everyone says that uh, this is the best uh, Martin Scorsese movie ever and one of the best movies of all time in general and and I think. At this point, you guys probably would have known would have known that uh, it's not my favorite Scorsese movie. I actually could have uh, reviewed Goodfellas first, uh, so it it can keep a there could be there could have been a little bit of suspense. Uh, and so, those who are uh, new to uh, my uh, thoughts on, on the Scorsese movies, uh, you can probably uh, know if uh, this is uh, my favorite Scorsese movie or not. Uh, there could have been a little suspense there, but. Cause, but I actually chose to review Wolf of Wall Street because I just uh, couldn't get it out of my head, especially with Margot Robbie in that movie. So that's why I reviewed the Wolf of Wall Street first, and I can watch the movie over and over again. Actually, I could have probably saved that review for last, but and I could have reviewed review Good Fast first. So you may, you can probably think that oh, is Frozen gonna call this the best uh, Scorsese movie ever made? And then uh, when I say it's not his best film, uh, you are gonna be shocked by it. And okay. I, I barely know anyone who says uh, that this is not the best Scorsese movie, that there's like a, a, another Scorsese movie uh, that is better. And despite, yeah, we, we got some uh, iconic uh, Scorsese films, even the ones that came before it, like uh, Taxi Driver, The King of Comedy, uh, I'm missing one. Uh, Taxi Driver, The King of Comedy, yeah, I'm actually missing one. Uh, oh, uh, um, oh yeah, also, um, yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, Raging Bull. That's the movie I was looking for. Raging Bull. Yeah, the, despite we have you know uh, those movies. Yeah. Um, no, um, they don't. I don't. I don't hear anyone call those uh, the best Scorsese movies. And uh, even some of uh, Martin Scorsese's are more present films, like Wolf of Wall Street, Departed, Hugo, Silence, Irishman. I don't hear anyone. I I hear anyone. Although I know what a tad few people who would uh, say uh, Wolf of Wall Street and Departed like. 2% of the people, but like 98, but among like them versus 98, they, most of them would, would uh, say it's good fellas, and, but yeah, um, and, and yeah, so, um, if you've seen my reviews on Wolf of Wall Street, Hugo, and The Bart, and, uh, and The Bart, you probably know by now that I don't think, uh, that I'm not on the same boat with everyone else as, uh, considering good fellas as, uh, Martin Scorsese's uh, best film, but, um, does it deserve the praise? That is the, the question. I mean, as long as this movie is a masterpiece, I, as, long as, as long as I find this movie to be a masterpiece, then uh, it's kind of a good thing. 
And I can most uh, confidently say that Goodfellas is a masterpiece, uh, just as good as uh, everyone else uh, says it is. Uh, in fact, I don't know what, what else what is there to say that hasn't been said yet. Uh, everyone has already uh, given their points. Everyone has uh, dived uh, deep, deep into this movie, uh, deep into this movie, and yeah, what else? Uh, and so there, I I think I don't really have a lot to say about this movie. So um, I'm not gonna like, keep giving this disclaimer that uh, oh, this is really one of my shorter reviews because maybe it, it, it could surprisingly become uh, longer than expected. But yeah, um, but uh, let's just get over with it. So everyone knows that Martin Scorsese's uh, signature genre is gangster. Yeah, um, most of Martin Scorsese's. Uh, movies are uh, gangsters uh, and uh, criminals uh, his, most of his movies are about criminals uh, even if they're not gangsters you know like films like wolf of wall street uh, it's about uh, it's about a criminal despite that criminal uh, the movies is about it uh, he's not really a gangster despite he, he does things uh, for money just in a different way so yeah uh, you, you can tell that one scorsese really loves to uh, tell these uh, stories about the uh, about uh, characters uh, who uh, want money, uh, whether they be a gangster or they pretty much just be uh, greedy like uh, like uh, Jordan Belfort. Uh, so, um, Jordan Belfort and yeah, so, so but yeah, the um, Goodfellas is, is often uh, regarded as uh, Martin Scorsese's uh, signature uh, uh, gangster film. And some even goes for us calling this uh, the best uh, gangster film in general. Uh, now, personally, I would say that, that The Departed would be my favorite gangster film, but Goodfellas is uh, definitely right there. In fact, I actually now prefer this movie over uh, The Godfather now, The Godfather movies. Yeah, I'm going that far. Yeah, um, Good, um, Godfather was a film that was once in my top 100 favorite movies of all time, but honestly, I can, it's not in my top 100. Uh, that's kind of another hot take, but there's, there, I, I can name like 200 movies that are almost nearly 200 movies that are better than Godfather. Um, um, I, yeah, but I still love The Godfather for what it is. It's just not one of the greatest movies of all time. It's not even a movie I'd uh, probably I'd ever go back to. Like, if I were to make um, a top 10 movies that I, um, that top 10 uh, best movies that I would only watch once, uh, Godfather would certainly be on it. Uh, it's a movie that everyone should watch. Uh, once in their lifetime, uh, once in their lifetime, and probably just not watch it again. But um, when it comes to Goodfellas, yes, yeah, this is most certainly a movie that everyone should watch once in their lifetime, and once in their lifetime. And uh, and although um, Godfather is not really much of an entertaining movie, Goodfellas is actually very entertaining, and probably the entertainment value is what makes uh, this stand out from uh, Godfather, in my in, in my opinion. Yeah, um, yes, it, it is true that every single uh, human um, movie go, human uh, meaning every single film fan on the planet should uh, watch this movie at least once in a lifetime. But once they actually get around to watching this movie, they probably wanna uh, rewatch it a second time because it, it it's just that good and that entertaining. Uh, now, people people could consider this as one of the most entertaining movies of all time. Entertaining movies all the time, and uh, I can totally see why. Cause gangster films are are pretty much very entertaining. They they're meant to be entertaining. Cause you know, uh, usually when when it comes to these gangster films, the the stories are very entertaining. Uh, entertaining, very tension filled. Tension filled. Uh, they they are such. They usually are fast pacing. Um, and uh, and they really um leave you on the edge of your seat and. And you and you um, think about who, which character should you root for? Uh, whether you can, even though that person's a villain, you can still root for that person to get away, and then root for the other one to just uh, straight up uh, get arrested. Uh, up, uh, just straight up uh, get arrested for it. Cause yeah, let's be real here. Um, that's pretty much how gangsters movie, gangster movies work. So it's it's hard not to be entertaining, especially with Martin Scorsese movies. He really knows how to make uh, make uh, entertaining movies, uh, even with the, some of his uh, slow burn films, like for example, Silence, which I consider to be one of uh, his uh, the slowest films he has ever done, and ever done. And I I love uh, that movie, Silence. I mean, it's 
it, it does a way, it, it does find a way to not make me bored with it despite uh, it's a slow burn movie. It, it's very and maybe Martin Scorsese is the most uh, slow movie is ever done. I think, uh, yeah, I, I think it is his uh, most uh, slow burn film yet. Uh, see, but but I, I still adore Silent Time. Either way, yeah, that movie is just beautiful and yeah. Um, so it's really hard for a Scorsese movie to not be entertaining. Unless if it's Last Temptation of Christ, because that movie doesn't, uh, this bores me. Just, uh, it's just painful and, and uh, torturous to watch. Uh, although not in a, like, horrendous way or anything, I don't think that Last Temptation of Christ is a straight up bad movie. Uh, now, I don't think Good Fellas is nearly as entertaining as uh, everyone else says it is. Says it is, um, I don't think this is one of the most entertaining movies ever. Maybe that's because I'm, I'm more of a modern movie geek. Uh, I, I would agree with most people that old movies are more well made and uh, you're, and you're supposed to appreciate the classes because you know um, they put a lot more effort and they're 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 much more original than that. They don't uh, put out too many sequels and especially too too many remakes as well. Uh, but but when it comes to uh, um, but yeah, when it comes to uh, this one in particular, um, yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, okay, what else? Oh yeah, now I remember. Yeah, I, I get entertained with entertained with this one. Good fellas, I wouldn't. It, it, it's not really. Oh, now I remember. Sorry, I, I got lost for a bit with you. Good fellas isn't really a film that I would just put on. I would just be left on the edge of my seat of this whole time and just. Uh, have my eyes glued to the screen from start to finish. Yeah, there were times when I just lean back uh, and just um, have my screen a little far from me and just watch uh, lean back. But I, but it's not real film. I would just um, have my eyes glued to the screen from start to finish. Uh, yeah, but and there are other Scorsese films I find more entertaining, especially with the ones that uh, I I put above it. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street, Hugo the Departed uh, are more entertaining than than Goodfellas. And Hugo is probably one of uh, Scorsese's a slower paced film, uh, paced films, uh, and yes, it's still his most underrated film. And uh, even with the uh, Hugo being uh, Scorsese's uh, slowest uh, film, slowest films, it, it still manages uh, to be very entertaining because of how charming and magical it is. So, uh, so yeah, that's maybe I'm just a I'm actually a recently biased uh, kind of person. Uh, Believe it or not, oh yeah. I still get to talk about the performances, by the way. Yeah, the performances is, yeah. The lead actor in this movie, uh, Ray Liotta, has uh, uh, sadly uh, passed away, so uh, rest in peace to Ray Liotta. Uh, he's definitely one of the standouts of, uh, Hen standouts of this movie. Uh, perfectly uh, portrayed uh, Henry Hill. Uh, Robert De Niro, yeah, um, he's probably my favorite guest. I don't know if I would go as far as calling him uh, the the standout. Uh, I I know the the poster uh, promotes uh, Robert De Niro to to be, to be like the, the main character, and he's and he's not as much in the uh, in the film as uh, the poster uh, uh the poster shows. I actually kind of like that uh, way of uh, misleading marketing. Uh, that's actually kind of clever to uh, have a side character actually um. Be in the front and center. Obviously, they put Robert De Niro because, I mean, Robert De Niro, De Niro is, is like Martin Scorsese's a signature actor. Like, like I'm sure you know these uh, actor and uh, director relationships where they always like work together in most of the director's filmography. Uh, like, for example, Michael Caine and Killian and Killian Murphy with uh, with um, Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Particularly uh, Michael Keane, and then with with Mars Scorsese, it's Robert De Niro, and for good reasons. Uh, I love uh, Robert De Niro. Although um, uh, his performance in Joker will will always be my favorite uh, Robert De Niro performance in my personal opinion. Um, personal opinion, but I think this might probably be his uh, best film, uh, his best um, performance in in, in a Mars Scorsese movie. Yeah, uh, he's. Well, I'm not sure about that, but but I, I I think that his performance in Wolf of Wall Street would is likely to top this as as my uh, favorite um, Robert De Niro role in, inside the uh, a Martin Scorsese movie. Oh yeah, and also Taxi Driver as well. Actually, yeah, can't forget Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver, a, a brilliant uh, movie. Yeah, you know what? 
I think both Goodfellas and Taxi Driver are tied as, as Robert De Niro's best Martin Scorsese movie role he has ever done. And Joe Pesci, so yeah, Joe Pesci is uh, the one. Joe Pesci is uh, the only uh, aspect of the movie to uh, win uh, Best Supporting Actor. I am, yeah, Joe Pesci is definitely one of the standouts. Don't know if I would say he's a standout uh, of the movie, because, but Joe Pesci is amazing. He's actually one of the, the, the characters that makes his movie as entertaining as it is. And by the way, I actually cannot decide uh, who is uh, my uh, favorite character. I bet a certain, uh, I bet I bet a certain user would would probably would pick Karen as the best uh, character in the movie just because she's the only female character. I don't blame him though. I mean, Karen is probably the most underrated uh, good fast character. I mean, Lorraine Bracco gives such an underrated and mesmerizing performance, uh, mesmerizing performance, and. Um, mesmerizing performance uh, and, and yeah but I, I can't decide who, who the standard is I can't even I don't even know who the best character is because they're all just so good especially the the three leads uh, and um, yeah there's something else oh yeah and the story the story yeah what a uh, clever a uh, straightforward story that just talking about the the mafia um, just talking about the mafia of course like what I said Martin Scorsese uh, loves to uh, tell stories about mafia and the uh, gangsters and all that stuff and you can tell that this is uh, Martin Scorsese's signature project again while it's not his best film it's certainly his most signature pr project and his, uh, and his uh, writing just shows that it's such a perfect uh, character study of uh, Henry Hill and as well as the other gangsters it's, it's a character study of Henry Hill it, it, it narrates uh, his life uh, his life and all that stuff and his uh, dialogue in this uh, movie his dialogue just works uh, so well, like especially when it comes to uh, his narration. Yeah, this is probably I would agree with people that this has one some of the greatest uh, dialogue I've ever seen. Maybe not not some of the best lines ever quotes, but just based on the way that the dialogue is written and, and the quality, it's most certainly one of the best. Especially with Henry Hill's uh, narrations, like as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Gangster, yeah, um, that's probably the best quote of the movie, even though it's in the beginning. And uh, also, um, this whole uh, dialogue about uh, Goodfellas, him just basically explaining why uh, the movie is called Goodfellas in such a clever way. Um, you know, we always call each other Goodfellas. Like, you say to uh, somebody, you're gonna like this guy, he's alright, he's a good fella, he's one of us, you understand? We were good for us, wise guys, yeah, and, and then all that stuff, but, and all that stuff, yeah, um, such clever writing right there. It, it, that, that's actually an entire monologue, like, almost as long as a Shakespeare uh, monologue, I should say, yeah, not gonna lie. Um, and there's just such an amazing uh, scenes as well, like uh, the, the beginning scene when, the beginning scene where uh, the, the three main characters were on that were driving and then, uh, and then they, they hear something slamming in the back of the corner, thinking that something hit them, but turns out the turns out the the guy that they 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 wanted to kill and, and put in the truck is actually and, and thought he was dead, he was actually still alive and so they all considered to uh to uh kill him and, and so they all kill him. And then Henry just uh, shoots him and then the uh movie freezes with the uh, Henry Hill saying uh, his best uh, quote ever. And by the way, yes, the way that this movie is edited, my god, this is some of, one of the greatest uh, editings I have ever seen put to any film, period. And also this movie uses, uses a, a lot of uh, classic I, IP songs uh, from uh, some of the um, biggest uh, classic songs back, at, back in the old days, and I love classic songs, so I think that this movie uses the, the popular song, I, the popular IP song uh, just really well, and... But my personal favorite scene in the film would be uh, the one where um, um, Henry Hill, uh, when um, Henry Hill um, loses his drugs uh, and he asks Karen, uh, hey Karen, where's my drugs? And then Karen says, I flushed it because I didn't want anyone else to see it. And then uh, we see this huge fight between Henry and uh, Karen as yeah, they, they both get into a banter for, for because uh, now. Because of, because so now uh, he has um, lost his money thanks to the drugs being flushed down. Yeah, what an intense uh, and heart pounding moment right there. So 
So overall, Goodfellas is nothing short of a masterpiece. While it is a tad bit overrated, it's just because of the fact that everyone says that it's the best Martin Scorsese movie. And to me, it's no Wolf of Wall Street, most certainly, but this movie does uh, deserve all the praise it gets. And I would personally say that this is tied with Home Alone as the best movie of 1998. So yeah, with that said, I, I'm gonna give Goodfellas 5 stars out of 5, a perfect movie. This is one of those movies that I do not see anyone, and I mean anyone, that dislike it. So that's all for my review of uh, Goodfellas. What are your thoughts on this movie? Uh, do you agree with everyone else that this is um, you consider that as the best Scorsese movie? Or do you agree with me that there are better Scorsese movies than, than this? Uh, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my review on Killers of the Flower Moon. Uh, yeah, but I am uh, going to see the theaters on Friday. So yeah, bye guys.